file system paths here we will talk about how we could navigate the file system through uh, through the absolute path or relative path so so basically there are two paths to navigate a file system the first one is the absolute path and the second one is the relative path an absolute path always begins with a slash this indicates that the path starts at the root directory an example of an absolute path is if you are going to go into the Samba directory which is in var log directory it has two directories above it so you could start with cd slash var slash log and slash Samba it will take you directly to a Samba folder by the way this is just an example that I picked up for um, to make you understand about the absolute path then we have the relative path which does not begin with slash it identifies a location relative to your current position an example of relative path is you cd into slash war once you are already in war you could just do cd logs now you notice we are not using slash log because we are already in war directory and we could just simply go into cd log and then from there we could cd into samba again here we are not using slash log or slash samba because they do not begin with slash they are within the slash war directory so let's look at the example okay so first thing you have to do is become root user su dash you put in a password now if you wanted to go directly to the samba folder you could just go cd slash war slash log slash samba where are you you are in war log samba now if you notice if you go through the relative path which means let's go to slash we are in root directory slash directory and if you want to go to the war directory you could simply do war or you could also do war once you in this directory and if you try to do at this point if you try to do cd slash log it's not gonna find it because what you're trying to tell the operating system that there is a log directory within the slash directory which is not the case so how are we going to get into the log is by simply CD log and if you do PWD you will see you are in war log now if you wanted to go into one more directory which is Samba what command would you run CD slash Samba or CD Samba well you will run CD Samba and it will take you to the Samba directory when you do PWD it will tell you you are in war slash log slash Samba directory so this is the uh, main difference between the absolute path and the relative path and the reason you use these two different paths is because if you already know the directory where you want to go in you don't have to go into one directory then the second third or fourth you could directly go into this the path of the directory in our case which is again var slash log slash samba and there you are and for example if you want to go to another directory let's say we're going to cd etsy sysconfig and network scripts you could just do that and it will take you there by the way if you hit tab it will auto complete your directory if it exists in there now you which directory you are in you're in etsy sysconfig network scripts if you want to get out of from one directory you do cd dot dot where are you you are in etsy sysconfig you want to go one step back you do cd dot dot and you are in etsy if you want to go one more directory out you do cd dot dot and you do and you are into slash directory again the root directory the main parent directory so that's the um, that's what 
the, this lecture is about to tell you uh, the difference between the absolute path and relative path.